Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is March 24th, 2019, and I'm going to continue the Asian pear series. So today the pears are growing a little bit more, and uh, the four in one has really beautiful flowers. And today when I came out, I found that I had some pests. Uh, aphids were on the plant, so I'm gonna show you a method that I use to try to reduce the chances of ants spreading the, the aphids around. So uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. Here is the, the giant, the Korean giant. And it actually has new leaves there. Not much is gonna happen from this guy, so I won't show too much of that. And here is the beautiful four-in-one pear tree. Look at all those blooms. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So here are the nice beautiful flowers. And uh, so I noticed when uh, I looked at the plant earlier this morning, I had uh, ants crawling all over the up and down. So as soon as I saw ants, I knew there were going to be aphids around. So uh, luckily there were none on this one, but there were some on the Shinko and uh, I went around and just inspect every little leaves and I crushed them all. So immediately after that I went and got some tango foot right there. So this is a very sticky substance that I, you can spread around the, the, the trunk of the tree and all that does is it keeps the pests like ants and stuff from crawling up because if they try to they'll get stuck right there and these substances will not dry so it will last for a very long time and then I have chili powder here just in case rabbits come around and try to eat the bark or anything like that so um, that's, uh, that's some preventive measure so tango foot there and here is my shinko pear. Man, it's just looking really nice right now. Look at all those leaves coming out. And right now, so it's, it's getting really warm in the spring. So you need to start uh, inspecting your, pl your trees, your plant as soon as uh, uh, the weather begins to warm a little bit. So uh, that's what I did and I, I noticed ants were everywhere. So anyway, um, I crushed them all. Uh, you may find there will be a few uh, aphids with wings, and usually that is how it starts. Uh, there's a wing aphid somewhere on the plant, and it, it lands. Once it landed, it'll shed its wing, and it becomes just the, the little um, normal aphid, and then they will start to multiply. And then ants will come around, and they would, you know, drink the liquid the sap that the aphids would release and they would actually protect the aphids and and even possibly carrying the aphids to other leaves so be careful with that so again I have tango foot there so there's a few <laughs> ants that are stuck on some of these here so that's that's uh, one of the preventive measure to do that and See, I think I crushed a few aphids earlier. The, the, one, the one I found on here were the, the black aphids. So uh, there were a bunch of them on my other tree. So uh, I crushed them all. And I looked all over the leaves to make sure there, there are none left. So if you find them, just make sure you crush them. And here is the one that I found a ton of aphids on. It was on this. So you see that? There's ants right there. So those are the ants right there. So I think they're trying to get the aphids to come back. So um, if you see those, make sure to get rid of them because they will spread the aphids around. So anyway, that is the, uh, the pear trees and how they look right now. So uh, I will come back regularly and add more updates as they grow. And then uh, I will update you guys once uh, there's a lot more progress all right guys today is april 1st and in just a matter of seven days look at how much the plants have grown or the tree have grown 
so it's actually looking a lot fuller leaves are larger now and I actually have fruits so I'll show you and then I still have aphids problem so um, I'm still inspecting the tree every morning to make sure that you know they're around and if they are I'll get rid of them uh, some people said just leave it for the you know nature to take its course and the ladybugs will may come and and try to eat those but when it comes to aphids I really don't take chances I don't really trust that the aphids will I mean the ladybugs will come so I will just crush them as I see them so this morning I actually saw a few so let me show you an example so as you can see here see those little tiny dots they're very small but in a day or two they'll grow really big so just crush them and then here these are the black aphids so they're see you see how they hide right there so right now there are about four of them and you know if you leave them like in a day it'll be like 20 of those so when you crush them they they'll just die right there and then hopefully that uh, take care of that and you may see them keep coming back but uh, just you know be thorough and check your plant and because you don't want anything to go out of control so that's one of the shinko all right guys here are the other three trees so I'm gonna go and show you what they look like today uh, this Korean giant is growing pretty well much more leaves now but as I mentioned before nothing much is gonna come out of this guy for right now and here is the four in one and we have lots and lots of fruits so uh, I'll show you closely so you see here all of these are turning into fruits so I will need to start thinning these out pretty soon because um, if you leave so many pears that they won't produce large fruits and the quality may not be as good because the tree is too small to support all of this and the branches may even break so um it's best to thin them out and just leave maybe a few for a, a, for a tree this small so uh, all of the uh, different uh, variety are producing fruits right now so you see there and here and that one there and this one as well so this is like my favorite tree right now it just looks beautiful okay here is the last shinko tree and it's just looking gorgeous as well very nice amount of leaves it's looking very very full and both shinko are actually producing fruits as well so let me show you so here they are it's, it's kind of hidden right there so I'll have a few fruits from that alright guys today is April 11th 2019 and we are going to do some pruning off of the fruits we're gonna thin a few just uh, so that the plant can produce quality fruit the only tree I'm going to prune or thin is that four in one because uh, this one is too small to produce fruits the two Shinko actually dropped a, uh, a few of the fruits that it, that, it, that they have and uh, there may be one or two fruits uh, this, this season so uh, we don't have to do anything to those so let's go ahead and thin this one here okay so as you can see the fruits are in clusters so um, if you leave them all like that the pears are not gonna grow very big and the quality may not be as good so you can use a scissor or anything you just you know go through there a lot of these are gonna naturally fall off soon but you can also see the ones that have like a, a yellow stem so you touch it they just fall so those will just thin itself and uh, for those that are not doing that see, these are not good quality anyway you can just pull them off but it's probably better if you use like a, a scissor or something like that so you don't accidentally 
pull the other one off. See, these are not good quality. You see those little dots? So I'm just going to pull all of those off. So you just go through and pull the one that you don't like off. Uh, it's a good idea to do this early because uh, once you wait until they're too big and the, the plant has already expended its energy trying to preserve those fruits. So it's good to do it a little early. You can also just pinch it off. So stuff like this as well, they're just not good quality here. And if you're not sure, you can just leave it and wait uh, another few days. And then once they get a little larger like this here, so there are two of here. And this one obviously is not the good one. So we're just going to pinch that off. So you do that for the entire tree. Just leave one or two um, per section. Preferably one per node like this. So we have two right here. One of that need to go. So that the, the fruits will look nice and big once they come out. So we'll just leave that one right there. Just like that. All right, guys, welcome back. Today is April 26, 2019. And here is progress on my pear trees. So this one here in the pot, I moved it uh, next to my garage because the other day it was raining like crazy and there's so much wind. I didn't want these guys to follow and break or anything like that, so I moved it. But uh, here is what the Shinko pear looks like in a pot. This one has, uh, I think, two fruits. So uh, let me find it and show you. Here you go. You see? So there are two fruits there. That is pretty much it for this, this tree, but it's looking beautiful growing very nicely okay and here is the Olympic or the Korean giant looking good new leaves and I'm gonna show you something so that you can look out for this if you grow them so you see these leaves here these have been eaten by cucumber beetles yeah it's it's crazy so every once in a while I'll come out here, I'll see those cucumber beetle chewing holes in these leaves. And they're the, uh, they're kind of like, they look like yellow, yellow ladybugs, but they're longer. So uh, make sure you check those online to make sure you can identify those. And if you see them on your pear tree, remove them because they have been chewing on the leaves and they also been chewing some of the fruits that I have. So. Uh, uh, creating some damage so I will show you what uh, those damages look like okay and here is the other shingle pair in the ground looking beautiful we got lots of rain these past few weeks and it's just uh, kind of like too much water for these plants so I'll I'll show you what's going on when it gets a lot of water so you see these uh, black spots so I start to notice that when there were heavy, heavy rain and uh, before that it was all nice and beautiful green like this and then once it was like such heavy rain comes along and this is what we get. So those are the, the some signs of uh, too much water. Hopefully those are okay. And this one has uh, I think one fruit. And here it is. See, there's a fruit right there. Look. Got a ladybug that just landed on me. So I'll put him onto the. All right, lastly, we have these four in one. And after pruning, I will show you what's going on here. And um, first, we will show you the uh, the damages that the lady I mean these uh, bugs have been doing to my plants and fruits so here I caught the bug chewing you see that so this is a nice looking fruit but you see at the stem area that little section that was exposed right here 
so the bug chewed that area I, I caught it doing it so uh, make sure you watch out for those um, cucumber beetles and uh, as you can see there are not that many fruits left the, the tree automatically abort some of the fruits that um, it would not take like for example this one here you can tell that it was aborted when the stems right here turned like a yellow color and you, when you touch it see it falls right off and the one that took are these here that are starting to turn into fruits so um, those are gonna be really nice later on in the season so um, one thing uh, I left here but I wanted to show you guys you see how at the top uh, see here's more damage from the cucumber beetle you see that it chewed the stem of that fruit and those black things there are the poop that they uh, they left behind so that's how you can tell it's cucumber beetle their, their poop uh, usually stays back and they'll see those holes so I'll, I'll probably just pull that that one off so anyway the top of the plant usually has uh, lots of fruits like this one here has four right there and this one here has a ton so if you leave this the fruits will get bigger and then it'll have to share all the resources with the other fruits so it won't get as big as it should but also because there are so many once the pears get larger it'll weight down on the branch like this and in the wind it might snap so you should either prune all of the fruits up here off because you, you want to leave the fruits that are down here uh, towards the, the center because it, it has more support so uh, that those are usually the best area to leave the fruits right here the top is uh, it can cause the branches to break so uh, cut all of these off or leave one if you like and then stake it up somehow to give it support uh, too many fruits won't be good anyway because then it won't produce quality fruits and it won't produce large fruits so um, I've gotten rid of most of them so I have this bunch here which I will get rid of then I got one right here which this is a really nice one so that's why I left it and here's a good fruit right here and then I have a few on that right here one right here I may get rid of one right there and then a few up top take those off and same with this see I left this one here but you see those uh, blemishes I kind of like the, the ones that have no damages like that so this one may go but anyway guys that is it for the pear trees up to this point um, I will provide periodic updates throughout the season so that you can see uh, what the fruits look like and uh, how it produces later on I may have to bag these up just to protect them but uh, that's it for now uh, I hope you enjoyed the video so far and if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and thank you so much for watching